jumping into this whole sprint because it is our first <laughs> one. Yeah. Um, let's remind everyone of the wonderful sprint format that has graced our presence this year. So Friday we have FP1 and sprint qualifying or the sprint shootout. Yes. Saturday is the sprint and then qualifying. And then Sunday we have the race. Yeah. So. I hate it. I don't love. Um, also very worried about performance and how competitive the sprint's going to be because of qualifying being where it is. We already know people are having chassis problems at Williams. So what happens, you know, if something happens during the sprint and then you can't qualify, then you don't race. Yeah. Oh, I don't like this at well, all. Well, you do race, but you race from the back. So if if you crash in well, the sprint. not if you don't have a chassis. <laughs> well, if, if you're Williams, you, you probably won't. But the, the biggest problem for me is the sprint being um, – before qualifying for for the the actual grand prix like if you crash in the sprint and you can't get repaired in time then you're starting from the back yeah I and the thing it. that sucks too is like what if it's something that's completely out of your control and it's someone else's fault like what if someone bumps you and yeah. you did nothing wrong and then you're screwed for qualifying and you're screwed for the race yeah, I think, and I think it, it adds like too that. many it adds too many variables that make it not fun. Give us the 2021 format back. It no. wasn't perfect, but at least it set the grid for Sunday. So like why do we have to have two separate qualifying sessions? And I'm not asking you this specifically, I'm asking <sighs> the universe. Why do we need two qualifying sessions in one weekend? I don't know. I don't know. I can't answer that question. I mean, I, 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 I don't know either. And I think that that's the, that's one of the biggest problems is why are you trying to shoehorn two qualifyings when you can actually make the sprint relevant? Because all the sprint does is give you more points to the championship. Right. Um, but if, and cause there's no like sprint championship or whatever. So, you know, all it is, is an opportunity to crash your car another time. And now if you crash your car, it just gets worse. Right. Which begs you know, my question of, is it even going to be competitive because they're worried about qualifying? But, right. I mean, I, and I think we've talked about, like, making a sprint championship, like, add more sprint re- weekends or whatever and have a whole championship yeah. just for the sprints, which I don't love that idea, but at least it would make it semi-competitive. Yeah, it's like, at, at this point, it's like, there's no point to the sprint races. They don't mm. necessarily bring more excitement. They didn't, you know, other than, say, Oscar Piastri winning a sprint that was completely overlooked by the fact that Max clinched the world championship um, in Qatar last year, there, there's no point to no. the sprint race. Like, and, and there's no, you know, crazy grid movement either. Like, no. and that's what they, they want is, is a more mixed up type of grid, but that's not giving it to us right now. And I don't think that this format is going to, to give it to us. Maybe China will prove me wrong, but I don't think that this new format is going to give us the type of mixed up grid that they're looking for in the sprints compared to the regular Grand Prix. 